Tempo, 105.5 FM, Jessup, Big Dog Country. Tired of getting lured into a dealership based on deals that don't exist when you get there? 2017 F-150s are up to $10,000 off. Or get 0% financing and trade assistance at Mike Birch Ford and Bike Shear. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch. 0% with approved credit dealer for details. Jessup Premium Storage, 1455 South 1st Street is Jessup's best place to store your valuables. Whether it's furniture between moves or just a place for the overload, call Jessup Premium Storage at 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage units are indoors, climate controlled, and they have 24-hour surveillance and on-site management. You have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week access to your unit. Sizes range from 5 by 5 to 10 by 25. They also have outside covered and uncovered spaces available for vehicles, boats, trailers, and RVs. Jessup Premium Storage on the Way Cross Highway in Jessup. At Bronterst Landfill, keeping our community safe is the most important thing we do. Our local team of environmental managers, engineers, and scientists ensure that the long-term management of the landfill is safe for our workers, customers, and the environment. To learn more, visit our website at www.bronterstlandfill.com, or you can go to the website, click Visit Us, and sign up for a tour to see firsthand how we operate. We hope to see you soon. Murphy's Builder Supply is where you need to go for all your home improvement projects and hardware needs. They've been serving folks in this area since 1946. Murphy's offers some products and services that you may not know about. They now sell ammunition, both bullets and shells. Murphy's also sells personalized tags for dog collars. They build customized screens for windows and doors. Murphy's can rekey locks, and of course they can make keys. They cut glass for windows, plus Murphy's has monthly door buster specials. Check their Facebook page to see what's on sale. Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 North. East Broad Street, Jessup. Why waste time haggling at other dealerships when the best deals, service, and selection are at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear? Get 0% financing and trade assistance on 2017 Escapes. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch. Right on the corner, right on the price. 0% with a pre credit seat for details. And good morning. You've made it to a Friday. 7717. It is a Friday morning. And uh, Butch Herbert here with you on the big dog, WIFOFM in Jessup, 105.5 on your FM dial. And it's going to be another hot day today. In the last two days, going to be just like today. Mid 90s, heat index over 100. The Autumn Harbor Dole is at 8.9 feet and cresting. Currently here in southeast Georgia, we have 76 degrees. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, and also brought to you by Jessup Premium Storage. Republic Services, and by Murphy Builder Supply on Northeast Broad Street in downtown Jessup. And Bob, we have got some coaches here, and we've got a bunch of fine-looking young softball players, the U18. The Flea Girls. The Flea Girls. The Flea Girls. All right, now here we got the, the coaches in here this morning, and they say the main coach is uh, Mr. Ron Sluter sitting right here, so come on up to the mic. Ron, and good morning. Morning. How are you doing? Doing great. We appreciate y'all having us. All right. And tell us a little bit about uh, your team. All right. Uh, this day, you all-star girls um, will be leaving Tuesday to play in um, the state playoffs. Uh, we were district runner-ups, uh, played in Brunswick tournament, won the Brunswick tournament, and um, had a fun time this year. Got, got a good bunch of girls. Okay, so you got the U8 team here, and we're going to have each one of these uh, uh, baseball or softball players come up to the mic and introduce themselves in just a few moments and uh, introduce the coach next to you there. Uh, this is Rex Harrison. I'll let him talk. Good morning, Rex. Hey, good morning. How you All right. Doing? All right. And, uh, and you've got three coaches here. Do all three of y'all get out there and coach the, uh, the girls um, uh, during the game and practice and everything? Yeah, yeah, we uh... The three of us work pretty good together. Okay. You've got it a, takes three of us. It takes three of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, more power to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we got those uh, UA girls uh, out there practicing, and then, uh, of course, a uh, district runner-up. And uh, do you have a you have a girl on the team? Yeah, I do. Okay. Ellie, Ellie Grace Harrison. Okay. Well, she'll be up there in just a few moments. And uh, how long have you been involved in coaching with the uh, girls? Probably three years. I think she started about three years ago, so I've been... So three even, years. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do as parents, don't yeah. we? Get out there and either watch or coach. <laughs> that's right. That's part of the gig. I okay. Guess. Is there any particular part of the coaching that you do, uh, special-wise, or just everything? No, not really. We all three kind of just do it all together. Okay. All right. Introduce the uh, coach next to you there. And this is Coach Robbie Smart. Robbie. Let's move the mic on down to Robbie. Robbie, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. A little tired. You're tired? <laughs> Base just getting started. I know, right? All right. 
So you, you got it, the Wayne County, is that y'all's uh, team t-shirt there? Yes, yeah, so this is our team t-shirts. Um, Miss Haley, uh, Mr. Ron's wife, uh, had them made for us. It's got uh, the Wayne County All-Stars UA um, on the front with the date, and then on the back it's got all three coaches' names and all the girls' names on the back. Okay. And uh, so do you have any particular area that you coach more than other, or you just all general around? Well, I tell Ron and Riggs, I'm the dugout coach. <laughs> I try to make sure I try to make sure these girls know where they're at in the lineup. Um and then at practice, like Rick said, we all kinda of work together. I run the pitching machine most of the time, but you know, we all three get our heads together and try to make sure we got what's best for these girls and what's gonna win. Now so this is a pitching uh machine yes, softball. Sir. Okay. Yes, all right. And I guess uh, as you the dugout coach, you make sure sure the girls stay hydrated, right? We try. You know how eight-year-olds are. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think they'd want to agree with that 97-degree uh, temperature out there. Uh, but, Ron, tell us tell us where you're heading on Tuesday. Uh, we'll be going to Moultrie. Um, first game's at 3 o'clock, I believe. So uh, we'll be, probably be heading out about 9, 10 o'clock that morning. Okay. Now, this is a double elimination tournament? It is. Um, I think if we win the first game, we play again Wednesday no, or Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm sorry. Tuesday. And then if we lose, we play on Wednesday. Okay, so you play again if you win. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then if you lose, you don't play to the next day. That's right. Usually, we, usually it's the other way around, you know? Right. And uh, we actually start against Moultrie Bay first. So you, you do start against the home team. That's right. Okay. All righty. So let's do this right here. Let's move the mic on around there about the, where their level is, and let's start getting the girls up here. And y'all just uh, come on up to the mic, and I'll ask you questions here so you know, you'll know what to say. And what is your name? My name is Ellie Grace Harrison. Okay, and what position do you play, Ellie Grace? Pitcher. Pitcher. So how does how do you be a pitcher when it's a pitching machine? You get the ball from the other people like to stop the play. Oh, you stop the play. So you're standing there in that position of pitcher, okay? And so you get to get those uh, uh, balls that are hit real quickly right up the middle, right? Yes, so you sir. got quick reflexes and a good glove? Yes, sir. And a good arm to get over the first base, right? Yes, sir. Okay, how many years have you been playing softball? Three. Three years. All right, sounds good. Okay, let's move over and let's uh, bring the – tell you what, let's do this. As you, as you talk, let's move down this way so I'll know who's got. Let's start back over here with the tall girl. Right over here. There we go. All right. What's your name? Paynesville. And your parents? Um, Kevin and Amandasville. Okay, and uh, what position do you play? Um, shortstop. Okay, and have you been playing for three years also? Um, no, sir, I've been playing for two. Two years, and uh, a shortstop, that's a very uh, uh, hard position. you got to move left, right, and all that kind of stuff. you got quick reflexes and get all that done? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next one. All right, and your name, please? Mallory Jones. Mallory Jones, and Mallory, who are your parents? Andrew and Nicole. Okay, and what position do you play? Left field. Left field. All right, so you have no problem at all trying to catch those balls that are hit way up in the air and then come down. You judge pretty well when it's come down and have the glove right there, okay? And you, can you throw it from the outfield all the way to the infield in case uh, somebody's running going around the base? Yes, sir. Okay, sounds good. Let's move on to the next one. Who's up next? What's your name? Morgan Boatwright. Morgan, good morning. And who are your parents? Um... Nicole Boatwright and Jared Boatwright. Okay. And uh, what position do you play? Right field. Right field. Okay. Now, that's supposed to be the loneliest spot out there. Do you get a lot of action out there? A little bit. A little bit, especially the left-handers. <laughs> and um, now, in, in girls' um, uh, U8 softball, do y'all y'all hit, the, the hit it in the outfield quite a bit? Quite a bit. Quite a bit? All right. Well, let's move on to the next one then. All right, your name, please. Jaylee Weaver. Say it again, please. Jaylee Weaver. Okay, and who are your parents? Um, Nicole Farrell, Jarrett Farrell, Jason Weaver, and Harley Weaver. Okay, and what position do you play? Catcher. Catcher. All right, so you get to get that ball when it comes up there and they swing and you get it, right? Okay, and uh, how long have you been playing? Um, three years. Three years. You enjoy being catcher? That's a very, that's a rough position back there. You, mm -hmm. you do a good job at it? It's not a rough position? So you got to wear the mask and, the, and the, the pads and all that kind of stuff like they do in baseball? Yes, ma'am. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay? Oh, that's okay. We all we, we all do that. It's live radio. We all make mistakes. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next one. And your name, please? Angela Ellis. Angela Ellis. Okay. Cool pair of glasses you got on there. 
What position do you play? Catcher and outfield. Catcher and outfield. Who are your parents? Will and Heather Ellis. Okay, and um, you've been playing for two or three years? Probably about four. Four years. So Probably. You, okay, you enjoy softball? Yes, you look sir. forward to being a lady jacket one day out there on the Barber Struckoff field? Yes, sir. All right. We got this young talent ready to come up to keep the winning tradition going for Wayne County High School. All right. We got the U8 district runner up recreation uh, girls in here this morning. And uh, they're going to go to uh, Moultrie on Tuesday to start the uh, state playoffs. Now, who do we have now? Your name, please? Ada Slitter. All right. So, uh, so I guess this is your dad over here. Is he a good guy? Yeah. <laughs> People can't see you shaking your head. <laughs> and uh, so who's your mom? My mom is Haley Sluter. Okay. Haley calls in birthdays all the time here to the radio station. And we appreciate that. We love getting those birthdays on. And what position do you play? I play second base. Second base. All right. You enjoy second base, Blair? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, who's got the best batting average with all y'all? Okay, we'll get, if you got it, we, that right here, okay, we'll, we'll talk to you in a moment then. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. And there's another U8 girls softball player here. Whoa, we went dark there for one. Okay, <laughs> somebody hit the light switch. Your name, please? Maddie Smart. Uh, Maddie Smart, and who are your parents? Riley and Jana Smart. All right, and what position do you play? I play right field. Right field, so another right field. Do y'all switch out? You know? We usually switch out. I usually sit in the dugout most of the time. Okay, so you're still learning, huh? <laughs> well, somebody's got to be there, and that was the way I was when I played. <laughs> somebody's got to keep that dog. Has to have to be in there to keep take care of things, right? All right. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. All right. Your name, please. My name's Alyssa King. Alyssa King, and who are your parents, Alyssa? Karen and Angie Banda. All right, and um, in what position do you play? I play third base. Third base. That, that means you, if the ball comes your way, you got to throw it all the way across the infield to first base to get the uh, the girl out. Got a good arm to get it across there? Yes, sir. You do? How long have you been playing? Two years. Two years. All right, let's move on to the next one. Is this our batting king right here, queen right here? Okay, move on to the mic. Your name, please? My name is Caden Mounts. Caden Mounts? Okay, and what in what position do you play? I play first base. First base. You got the big glove to scoop up them balls when they're thrown from the shortstop and second baseman? Yes, sir. All right, so you do a good job with it? Yes, sir. So what's your batting average? You know, you all keep up with that kind of stuff? Don't keep up with that kind of stuff. Okay, but you get a lot of hits. You got any home run hitters here? We got a few of them, huh? All right. How, how, Ron, how far is the, the, the fence out usually for a girl softball? Y'all know? 200 feet. 200 feet. All right. And, and you eight, uh, y'all have a little bit softer, I mean, a smaller softball, don't you, than let's say the girls that play for Wayne County High School. Is that right? Yeah, I think we play with 11 inch ball. 11 inch ball. Okay. I did ask who your parents are, didn't I? And what position you played. And your, I think that's it. All right. Only, any, you got more? Here we go. All right, just one more, and your name, please? Emmy Hughes. Emmy Hughes, and who are your parents? Jennifer Giles Hughes. Okay, and uh, what position do you play? I play left center. Left center, do y'all have four outfielders then? Yes, okay, sir. Okay, so you have four outfielders out there. So is there 10 girls out there? 10 girls on a, a, a U8 softball team, right? Yes, sir. Okay, are you a pretty good hitter? Yes, sir. All right. How fast does that ball come in from the uh, the, the pitching machine? 34. 34. 34. Does it have just straight in, or does they put any English on it? Uh, it goes everywhere. It goes everywhere. <laughs> it's supposed to go straight. It's supposed to go straight, but that, that uh, pitching machine just can't make up its mind sometimes, huh? Okay. When do you girls move on to actually where you have live pitching? What age group? Uh, so 10. 10. So you got one, you got one more season of the pitching, and then y'all girls will move on to the live pitching. Yes, sir. Okay. Which one of y'all think will be a, a live pitcher when the time comes? Oh, oh, there's tons of arms going up. <laughs> they all say they're going to be the pitchers. All right. Now, so that takes that's that's it for the girls. Got all of them. All of them. All right. Now, Ron, y'all got a big fundraising event coming up today to help with y'all's expenses going over to Moultrie for the uh, state playoffs. Tell us about it, Ron. All right, we'll be having a, um, a car wash, actually, at Piggly Wiggly. And today. A, a today. Okay. Uh, from 9 to 12. 
And oh, this just this morning. morning? Yes, sir. 9 a.m. to 12 noon at Piggly Wiggly on West Cherry Street. You got a car wash. Okay. Right. And then we'll be having a bake sale at Walmart uh, today as well. Um, that the girls will make cookies, cakes, lemonade, muffins, stuff like that. Uh, and then also we'll be having a raffle for a large Yeti Rambler. And it's filled with several gift cards from businesses that have donated around town, right. um, which get me out of trouble with my wife. Let, I'd like to mention who all donate, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. Uh, classy Kids, Harvey's, Western Sizzling, Pine Forest, uh, Electrolysis by Becky Johnson, Hurricanes Cafe, Jones Kitchen, Pizza Inn, Captain Jones, Damon's, Habaneros, Cali's Wraps, and Sybil's. You said Captain Joe's? Mm -hmm. Okay. So all the, all those folks right there uh, donated gift cards for the, that's going to be inside the Yeti cooler that you're going to raffle off. How much are the raffle tickets? Uh, $2. $2. And yeah. that'll be set up today at Walmart, right? That's and right. what hours you'll be at Walmart with a bake sale and raffle? Uh, 9 to 12. 9 to 12 also. Everybody's hollering so looking at me funny. 9 to, nine nine to, to 4. four. So who gets the hot afternoon shift? <laughs> uh, actually, Robbie has... Uh, if you can't find us, he's volunteered to have a speedo on with one of those spinning signs out. Oh, uh, so, uh, I don't think I want to go anywhere near that. <laughs> I don't want that mental image ingrained in my mind. Robbie, where'd you get your speedo? I, to my <laughs> I forgot to tell Ron this morning. I did not get it yesterday. We had practice, and I didn't get to Walmart. Oh, okay. Well, we got him a sign. You got him a spinning sign. sign anyway. A spinning sign that he can set there. Do y'all gonna be at the, the, the right hand door coming in? Uh, when you come in, where the the or the grocery store side? Uh, we'll be uh kind of by the eye care. So no, I'm talking about at Walmart. Oh, at Walmart. We'll be yeah. on both sides. Both both sides. Sides. Okay, Walmart with a bake sale today from 9 to 4. Now, girls, did y'all actually do all this baking or did your moms do it? Mom. Your moms. Mom. <laughs> me and my mom. Me and my mom. Yeah, well, you're like me. I don't know how to bake either. Me and my mom. Okay, so some of the girls helped their moms, but it was mainly the moms who did the baking. And what kind of items will be um, at the bake sale? Like muffins, pound cake. Cookies, pound cake, all kinds okay, of good things. Muffins. Uh, might not have much chocolate, Vicky. Brownies. There's chocolate in the cooler then. Brownies. Brownies. <laughs> okay, and will they be like a cellophane wrap and sold for like 50 cents, yes. dollar, that kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think we've got some homemade lemonade as well. <laughs> okay, they said they forgot one player. Yes. Manning? Gemma, Gemma Manning Gemma is Manning. not here today. Okay, Gemma Manning. But she's our right center fielder. Right center field. Okay, she just couldn't make it this morning. All right, so folks, today, right down, starting at mm, almost 45 minutes from now. Now, which girls will be at Piggly Wiggly for the car wash this morning? All of them. Okay, so you're going to see a bunch of fine looking young girls out there ready to wash your car and how much will it cost to have the car wash? I don't know, child. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's donation. It's by donation. So you just, whatever you feel that you want to give the girls to help with their expenses in state playoff action, the U8 girls softball team going to state playoff action next Tuesday in Moultrie. So they're doing these fundraisers today because it costs a lot of money to go out of town and uh, do y'all get rooms over there and all that or we do, how does we'll, that work? We'll be there from Tuesday to Saturday assuming we keep winning. Okay. Night, so we'll be getting a room every night. So. Wow. Okay. So y'all be over there in Moultrie. So today, folks, go to Piggly Wiggly at 440 West Cherry Street. Right on the right hand side of the Piggly Wiggly, you'll see the girls set up uh, with a car wash. Okay. Any of you girls uh, ever washed a car before? I have. Oh yeah. All the hands going up. <laughs> okay. I have you wash it, okay. All right. So your dad sends you out there to wash the car. Is that right? Is that no. not right? You make your, you make your I've dollar seen, go out. I, I've never seen her wash one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So car wash today for the U8 girls softball team at Piggly Wiggly from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. And then, of course, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Walmart today, you'll see them set up with a bake sale and to buy raffle tickets for all those gift cards, which will be inside of a Yeti cooler. And the Yeti cooler came from where, or did it does you just buy it somewhere, or donate or something? Uh, who, who donated the Yeti cooler? Uh, do we know? Okay. Okay. Uh, it was just given. Okay, so it was it's just done. Okay, all right. So by anonymous donor. All right, all right. So it's all going on today, folks. Bob, questions or comments for Ron or any of the other coaches there? Just wish them well. 
Can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see him wash cars. That'll be fun. <laughs> And so, folks, the car wash is by donation only. It's only the outside. They won't be vacuuming, just the outside. And they'll have the buckets and the soap and the suds and the hose and all that kind of stuff. And they'll wash it and uh, rinse it off, and, and it'll look real good. And you'll have a nice, clean uh, vehicle on the outside. And uh, you've done something to help these girls out with their expenses to go to the state playoff action. District runners up, and uh, now they're going to try to win a state title. And uh, your first team, as you mentioned, is the Moultrie team, the host team. What do you know about Moultrie? Anything at all? No, sir. Not, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Same not a thing. Okay. So just get out there and have a good time, girls. Enjoy the experience. It's fun going out of town and, um, and playing in these tournaments. And just um, have a good time. And today, with everybody who have the smartphones and all that, I'm sure there'll be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures taken. Pictures taken, probably. Y'all going to put anything on social media about it? I'm sure they will. You sure they will. <laughs> what girl, do your girls, y'all y'all around eight years old. What do y'all use mainly for social media these days? Is it Twitter, Snapchat, Snapchat, or is it um, Facebook? Which one is it? Snapchat. 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 Yeah, basically, for the young folks today, they say that Facebook's too slow, so they go with Snapchat and stuff like that. But doesn't that image only last like 10 seconds and then goes away or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. what they say. That's what they say. Okay. So, all righty. Well, folks, we um, um, wish the team the very best, the U8 girls softball team. District runner-ups going to state playoff action. Their first game is on Tuesday over Moultrie. They've got their fundraisers going on today. The car wash from 9 a.m. to 12 noon at Piggly Wiggly. It's uh, done by donation of what you ever, what you, whatever you want to give. And then also today, they'll have a fundraiser at Walmart from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. selling freshly baked goods and also uh, raffle tickets for the Yeti cooler with all those gift cards inside. And we'd like to once again thank all those businesses in town who donated those gift cards to help these girls uh, go to the state playoffs. Anything else, Ron? No, sir. We appreciate Anything you else, having coaches? us. Anything else, coaches? Anything else? Thank y'all for having us. All right. Y'all have a great time today with your fundraiser, and uh, go bring home that state trophy, okay? Thank you. All right. All right. WIFO 105.5 FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio. And since they're having that fundraiser at, at um, Piggly Wiggly, let's hear about their specials. Your Jess of Piggly Wiggly is offering you Farmer's Market Fresh Produce at reduced prices this week. On sale the big, seeded or seedless watermelons, only $2.99 each. Fresh cherries, $1.99 a pound. Fine white tomatoes, just 99 cents a pound. Yellow or white corn, get three years for only $1. Green peanuts, get four pounds for just $5. Fresh yellow or zucchini squash, only 99 cents a pound. Yes, it's former market days at your Jessup Piggly Wiggly with low prices on farm fresh produce. Meat specials right now at the big. Fresh ground beef, $1.98 a pound. Whole bone in pork loin, $1.48 a pound. Fresh chicken drumsticks or thighs, only 88 cents a pound. Split chicken breast, a low 98 cents a pound. Boneless chuck roast, $3.98 a pound. Center cut loin pork chops, $1.98 a pound. And chicken wings, $1.98 a pound. Low prices, friendly hometown service, Piggly Wiggly, 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. 824, you're listening to the Big Dog, WIFO, 105.5 FM in Jessup, world famous Butch and Bob show for the seventh day of the seventh month, 2017, a Friday morning. And, um, and Bob, it was great to see the Braves bounce back last night after getting whipped up on by the Astros in Atlanta. They need these four victories against the Nats to stay in contention for the wild card. They need at least three or four. Um, at the least, sweep would be nice, but I said it's going to be tough. But they did get the win last night, so that's good news. So they're only eight and a half out right now. So but hopefully they can win a couple more games in that series. Yeah, they talking about Snapchat. I don't know if that is true that this doesn't last long because there's a story on the paper or the internet that said two girls from South Carolina broke into a water park and put on Snapchat, and that's how they arrested them. Yeah. They went in there, stole a bunch of stuff, and did some damage. So they had to put on Snapchat, wound up costing them being arrested. So, no <laughs> way. Yeah. so I don't know about Well, Snapchat, Snapchat may keep all that information in their super-duper you know, computers and stuff like that, but it's supposed to come up on your phone. You take a look at it, and 10 seconds later, it's gone, so it doesn't fill your phone up. But, uh, you know, if... Um, if um, the police wanted to go to like Facebook or Snapchat or any of the Snapchat, uh, anything like that, I'm sure they keep it in their mainframe computer. 
Jonathan probably could tell us all about that. I have no idea. I'm, I don't have any social media at all. Well, that's how they arrested them. Yeah, yeah. they put on stage. Here's your sign. Snapchat <laughs> your crime. Yeah, if you got to break in somewhere, <laughs> you be kind of smart enough to put on Snapchat. But uh, here's your sign. Kids are these days. They want anybody to know what you're doing. I know you get a bunch of kids together. I don't care if they're, uh, you know, uh, their age around eight years old or six years old, all the way up to 18 years old. You get a bunch of them together and they've got their smartphones out. And they're taking tons and tons of pictures of anything and everything. And then many of them are on their phone talking to other folks while they're around a, bu a group of friends. So I, I don't know. I don't mess around with all that stuff. No. And uh, let's see here, uh, this weekend in sports, anything going on sports-wise that people need to keep an eye on? Just the breeze. I mean, Just the breeze. breeze. No big golf tournament this weekend. Wimbledon yeah. is going on, though, isn't it? They got the John Deere Classic going on. Davis Love had a good day yesterday. Oh, okay. He's two shots out of the lead, so hopefully he'll stay up there. He may have a son are playing, but they're not, you know, I said he caddied for him in the one tournament. They're both competing in this tournament, but... The dad got the better of the son yesterday, so oh, okay. the son shot over par, but Davis Love shot seven under, so he's two shots out of the lead going into today's round. So is Wimbledon going on right now? Wimbledon is going on right okay. now. Yeah. They'll have Wimbledon, then they'll have the what? You're not supposed to call it the British Open; it's the, the Open, but it is over in Britain or Scotland in that area over there. That'll be a fun because this is this is uh, this is England's and Great Britain's and Scotland's summer, July, and then things start cooling off. It's still amazing to see sometimes when you watch the British Open, you'll still see folks out there a lot of times in sweaters and stuff like that. Um, so um, the British Open will be up, coming up soon. Wilmington going on right now. And we have the fishing tournament, the Grand uh, Slam fishing tournament here in Jessica Wayne County coming up in August, right? August 18th. All right, you're following these court cases that are going on. Anything the, of interest that uh, we can highlight once again with these court cases going on? At the Wayne County Courthouse. Just had that murder trial come up on the 31st. So. On the 31st is when that starts. And uh, let's see here. You going to see any movies this weekend? Going to go to any movie that you just got to go see? Or want to go see? Uh, I've already I said I saw that. Baby Baby Driver's the best movie out. Go see that. So what did you say Baby Driver's Baby about? Driver. You told it. I can't remember. It's about a getaway driver. A getaway driver. Okay. Is there a baby stuck in the back seat or something? <laughs> His name's Baby. His name is Baby. Yeah, you know, it was just talking about here some of the most anticipated uh, movies left this year that's, that are coming out. And coming out um, seven days from now is another Planet of the Apes movie. I mean, how many are these that they're going to make? War for the Planet of the Apes on July 14th. I mean, how many Planet of the Apes movies have there been since the Charlton Heston days in the very first one? I mean, yeah, a, a ton of them. But they've got all these uh, movies right here that, um, that the most anticipated movies that will be coming out for the rest of the year. And people can just, you know, look at them and see whatever. Or you can go to the Strand Cinemas website or the Jessup Drive-In's website, and uh, they'll keep you updated also. Wonder Woman still out there. That was a pretty good movie. Wonder Woman. That was a good movie. It must have been because it got good uh, reviews and it's made a ton of money. It's a good movie. All right. Uh, anything else on your mind this morning for you mosey out of here? No. That's it. All right. World Famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply on Northeast Broad Street in downtown Jessup, by Republic Services, by Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Way Cross Highway, and by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear. WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. Uh, coming up uh, next will be Fox News.